Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the e Effect Extended Model for today's uh, video. It's the uh, European Outlook, looking at whether it's 30 days with the EC Extended. We will extend out to weeks 5 and 6 with this as well. It's kind of like officially a 30 day uh, month end look here, but we will have a look at weeks 5 and 6 day to 2, because why not if the charts are there? We might as well, won't we? So I should get on with that for you in a second. Just say that first video say was our 7 a.m. upload. And uh, we've also got a 10 to 14 day with all of the red features coming through later on this afternoon. Please like, share, subscribe on the video. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for your map. Thank you so much to e7.int for supplying uh, the charts. That's amazing. That's incredible. Thank you so much to them for supplying uh, the data. Right, we're going to start off with week one mean zero pressure anomaly showing high pressure dominating across much of northern and western Europe. A large anti cyclone in control of where extending in from the Atlantic into the north and west of Europe. We've got low pressure across the extreme north and east of Europe, extending down from like uh, the northwest of Russia, I suppose, into the east part of their train. A little bit of lower pressure down here around the Azores. But basically, it's a high pressure uh, that, that's dominating most parts of Europe. The uh, 500 millibar height, only for week one, which, by the way, is taking us from the 17th of January, uh, looks like this. Again, high pressure uh, well and truly in control of the weather dominating conditions across most parts of northern and west Europe with low pressure through the north and the east of Europe once again. So attention on this looking at quite a cool scene really across most parts of Europe but it is warmer for like much of Scandinavia so Denmark up to um, Norway and Sweden uh, and into the Baltic Sea it looks so uh, mild and amplitude there and Scotland are also coming out with, uh, with above average temperatures. Although Ireland, England, Wales are a bit cooler than average. Most parts of Western Europe are looking quite cool, actually. So France, the Low Countries, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, and into Germany looking uh, cooler than average shoot there. And uh, we've also got uh, much of Central Barber Med, like Italy, into Central Portion Red Train, looking cooler than average shoot there. Over the Asiatic, into the Balkans, below average temperature there, down to Greece and Turkey, a little bit below average as well. And this does extend up into the far northeast of uh, Europe as well. We've got Spain and Portugal coming out with rather above average temperatures. But again, most parts of Western Central Europe and much of the Med and East. In Europe as well, looking uh, below average. So quite a cool week to come. And precipitation-wise, as you'd expect, with high pressure in control of the weather, it is also uh, a pretty dry week as well. So drier than average through uh, much of the UK and Ireland into Western Europe, generally drier than normal too. Many parts of uh, uh, Spain and Portugal, much of France, again, the low countries, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, Germany, Denmark, Southern, Scandinavia, also drier than normal through there. The eastern part of the Mediterranean is a bit on the wetter than average side. So we've got some heavy thunderstorms probably mountain snow through Greece and Turkey. I've been extending down from like being west of Russia towards the Black Sea. A little bit west of Avishu there. And seemingly very wet uh, for Norway and in towards parts of Scandinavia. Of course, a lot of that will be snow, even if the temperature anomaly is rather above average. Right, week two will be the 17th, 24th of January. Again, we're dominated by high pressure. High pressure dominates the scene across much of Western Europe, extending into, like, central portions of the Med as well. We've got low pressure here in the far northeast of Europe. That will bring cold air into the east of the northeast of Europe. But otherwise, again, high pressure is in control of the weather, right from sort of the Balkans all the way up to Ireland and the UK. The five of millibar high to for week two looks like that again high pressure is just in control of the weather across most parts of western europe below average heights low pressure in the east of the northeast europe jet stream and wind flow will be digging through something like that through scandinavia the baltic sea into the far east and northeast of europe so so the west is dominated by high pressure northern eastern northeast europe dominated by low pressure the temperature anomaly looks like that below average in the west and the southwest europe so france spain portugal into the central bowl of them below average you bear rather below average temperature of the far north of europe as well eastern southeastern parts of europe a little bit cooler than average or cold average like there. so generally it's below average you med to be honest the whole of the med looks like it's cooler than average it's really in the far West and Northwest Europe, but we have it a little bit milder. So, uh, again, sort of uh, Poland and, and into Germany, then, then southern Scandinavia, like Denmark, some parts of Norway and Sweden, and into Ireland and Scotland in particular, uh, looks a bit uh, milder than average through there. 
Uh, precipitation wise, once again, uh, we like that. So it's a bit wet average in the far north, northeast of Europe, up here. So Scandinavia, through the Baltic Sea, and towards the northeast of Europe, a little bit wet average through there. And of course, a lot of that is going to be snow. Otherwise, it's a pretty dry scene. Much of Western Europe looks very dry. Most parts of southern, southeastern Europe looking very dry uh, as well. So, uh, so yeah, it's a very dry scene in most parts of Europe. Week three will be the 24th to the 31st of January. Once more, high pressure is in control of the weather. It's going to be a very anticyclonic January for Western Europe, I have to say. Big area of high pressure controlling the weather still. Most parts of Europe, some lower pressure up here. The jet stream is going to be up there as well. But to be honest, we're high and dry seemingly across most areas. B500 millibar. Height anomaly shows this up as well. Again, large area of high pressure extending from sort of eastern America all the way across the Atlantic into western and northern Europe. Lower pressure is through here, along with a dip in the jet stream doing something a bit like that. The temperature anomaly, again, remains a little bit mild on average in the far north and northwest of Europe. So Scandinavia, UK, Ireland, that's where it's milder than normal. Otherwise, it's again, it's quite a cold scene, really. Most parts of western, southwestern Europe, like France, Spain, Portugal, most of the Med, into eastern Europe as well. We're looking rather colder than average in the final week of January. And uh, precipitation-wise, it's looking like this. So rather drier just to our south and southwest. Uh, and then a little bit wetter up to the north uh, of Europe. So in Scandinavia, you see where, we'll see where low pressure is in the jet stream coming through here. Uh, but otherwise, once again, high pressure keeps things mainly dry in most parts of Europe. Week 4 will be the 31st of January to the 7th of February. The high pressure beginning to sip a little bit further southwards uh, now with lower pressure up to the north. And we're beginning to move the jet stream, begin to ease the jet stream just a little bit further south was possibly starting to get a bit more unsettled for northern Europe. The 500 millibar high to not anyway, doesn't look all that different, to be honest. Again, we've got the high pressure extending in from southern America across the Atlantic into Western Europe. Just a little bit more low pressure beginning to move that high pressure slightly further southwards. The temperature anomaly looks like that. So again, a little bit above average for northern Europe. Uh, a little bit cooler than average or southern, southwestern parts of uh, Europe. And the precipitation anomaly, largely on the drive and average side, particularly for many western, southwestern parts of Europe, but just a little bit more unsettled in the far north and northwest. And then finally, we've got weeks five and six data. So I'll just rattle through that very quickly. So that's the end of the 30 day forecast. But week, week five means cell pressure normally looks like this. High pressure relocates to Italy. And that will start to drag up a very mild southwesterly wind there uh, through the second week of February. The 500 millibar height anomaly also shows that up as well. High pressure through there, low pressure around here. Up would come those big southwest winds. The temperature anomaly should warm up. It does. Most parts of northern, central and western Europe go uh, more than average early spring. Uh, warm there uh, up to Valentine's Day. And precipitation-wise, yes, it's wetter than average far north and driving average in the south and southeast. And then finally, week six will be the 14th to 21st of February. No changes. High pressure again dominating. Perhaps going a little bit more towards the east side of Europe. Low pressure through here. Very mild with those west south west winds continuing. This could be exceptionally mild February if it comes off proper early spring. February, low pressure out to west. Again, up will come those southwesterly winds. The uh, temperature normally is going to be warm. Most parts of Europe um so yeah significantly above average temperatures and precipitation wise uh, look like that so it is going to get a little bit more unsettled across western europe turning a bit wetter but uh dry in much of southern and eastern uh europe Right, so uh, it's complete write-off winter again. Uh, if uh, this is right, you know, for, for a snow perspective, for much of northern and western Europe, total write-off uh, for the rest of January and February. Same old, same old from the ECM again uh, this week. Plus, uh, the temperature will down a little bit um, from last week. Uh, through, through the rest of January, uh, but it's all anti-cyclonic stuff. It's not much in the way of uh, wintry weather going on there if the ECM is uh, is right. So the EC extended uh, and shorter range actually has turned into the Grinch model for <laughs> for anybody who wants cold weather. Uh, and uh, yeah, we shall see where things go next. 
So, uh, the next European app, using the ECX Stadium, will be on Tuesday next week uh, again. But we will do another video with the ECX Stadium extended, which will be released either on Friday or on Saturday morning. Uh, we'll be back shortly with your tentative voting there. It's going to include all our regular features, so come back for that then. But for this uh, video, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.